a ton of Halloween content. Let's begin. Welcome back everyone. Let's quickly talk about everything that we got last week. And well, we got nothing last week. So we'll be moving on very quickly to what we're getting this week. And we are getting quite a lot of content. We're getting two separate events. In the first event that we're getting, we're getting the first part of the Midnight Carnival event called the Pre-Stage event. This event will have a complete task mission where you can obtain different rewards and you can also pass the Carnival recruitment. I'm not really sure what that means. We're getting the Nocturnal Escape game mode return. There was the event that we got last year where you had to go around a map of Red Church, kind of avoiding kind of wax walls and wax zombies and bats that would attack you. You also had to collect different items around that map. That event will be returning this year with some changes, but not in this first week. That, those changes will be coming in the following week. We're getting a ton of different furniture pieces return for Halloween. We're getting the A tier furniture piece Jack O' Lantern Tower, the A tier Baron Tree Lamp, and the stylish Jack O' Lantern. That's also an A tier piece of furniture and we're also getting the return of the B tier furniture piece Wilted Wall Lamp. I'm not really sure where they're going to be, if they're going to be in the main store or if they're going to be in the Spyglass store or maybe they're going to be in a completely different store, the event store. I'm not really sure, it wasn't really clear. So it's possible they'll be just in the Spyglass store. This week is definitely the returning content week where we're also getting the return of different items to the store including Ripper's S tier skin Count Banquet and the accessory that goes along with that that is the Banquet Cup. We're also getting the return of Acrobat's S tier skin tea party and the, of course, the accessory that goes along with that, that is the tea time accessory. They should both be available for fragments and for echoes if you want to purchase them. In the Spyglass store, we are getting the return of the A tier skin for Sia that like, comes every single Halloween. Now it's crazy. Experienced Huntsman and the A tier skin for Dancer called the Moon Blessed. This Dancer skin is the one that is themed around Soul Weaver's skin. And we're also getting the Happy Halloween Survivor and Hunter Chase music return to the Spyglass store as well. So that's exciting. The other event that we're getting this week is the charity event for the visually impaired. That is, of course, the charity event where people can purchase a skin and all the proceeds will go to an international organization to help people that are visually impaired. That skin that's coming along with that event is the ATIS skin for Mind's Eye called Starlight Maiden. It's a very nice skin and I think a lot of people are excited about it. But you do need to remember it's going to be Echoes only because it is a charity skin. So, of course, if you don't spend any money, there's no money going to the charities. This charity event will also bring a mini event where people will be able to get some free rewards. The name of this free content event is called Beneath the Astrea Night and you can receive different rewards including an event portrait frame and an emote for Mind's Eye. Not really sure what the emote is but I'm sure it looked quite amazing and to celebrate this charity event they're also giving us a new setting in the settings option that's a visual assistance mode. I'm assuming it's going to help people who are visually impaired play Identity 5, maybe increase the brightness or the contrast between colors. I don't really know. They haven't really shown us anything yet, but I'm really excited to see more accessibility options added to Identity 5 so a wider audience can play the game. As far as I know, that's all that's coming out this week. So let's talk about what's coming in the future. We're getting a ton of content in the next coming weeks. First of all, one of the minor things that's coming in the future is Antiquarian's Deduction Star A tier skin that's called Mulan. This is a skin that's based on, of course, the film Mulan, not the Disney one, I believe. And this is a very fancy skin and it looks really good for Antiquarian. That skin's coming on October 19th, but also on October 19th, we're getting the second part of the Midnight Carnival event. This is going to bring along the official event, not the pre-stage event that we're supposed to have this week. In this event, you'll be able to complete the storyline and complete games and match missions to get different rewards. There are going to be login rewards, including an event portrait that's themed around the Hermit skin and a sticker that is a really cute Ripper sticker. There are going to be tons of story rewards, including two stickers. One of them is for Acrobat and one of them is for Embalmer. There's going to be an event portrait that I've, I've written here is a portrait because it's cat themed. I thought that was kind of funny. There's a B tier furniture piece that is a painting that looks like some type of dark castle on a mountaintop. There's an event label and a room piece of room music that they haven't really told us what it is. In the event store that is not the Spyglass store, instead it's the store that comes along with this event, you'll be getting a special type of currency that are event tokens. You'll be able to purchase the Mechanics A tier skin Paper Queen. This is a skin themed on the Dream Witch skin with the same name and it's of course every year they release an A tier skin that is themed on a Hunter skin and it looks really really cool. You'll also be able to purchase Opera Singer's B tier skin 
Lorelei, and two other items including Mechanic's Emote Pumpkin Lantern that is traditional for every Halloween, and the BTS Survivor accessory that hasn't really got a name yet. It just looks like a cat, so it must be themed once again around the Hermit skin. I mentioned earlier that we're getting the return of the Nocturnal Escape mode, and on the 19th we'll be getting an upgraded version where they're going to add new stuff to it. It's going to be a different version of it. I don't really know what they're going to add, but I'm looking forward to see what they did because they did amazing with last year's one, and I wonder what they'll be adding this time. Maybe some new kind of hazards to the map or something like that. That's going to be cool. And we're also getting a Phantom Castle visit event where you'll be able to visit the Phantom Castle to see the new holiday themed furniture pieces that you might be able to purchase in the store, but it could also be a furniture store thing that is like a separate store where you have to spend only Echoes to be able to purchase them. You'll be able to interact with these furniture pieces and look at them in game. And you'll also be able to interact with characters from the Midnight Carnival event story mode. I'm assuming means you'll be able to see the skins in person. As for some Halloween things that will be added to the store in the future, on October 19th we should be receiving, as I've mentioned in the previous episode, the S tier package for Hermit that includes the S tier skin, lead consultant, and the A tier accessory that I think is pronounced Slay, but I don't really know what the effects are yet. They'll probably reveal them this week or next week, not really sure. On October 19th you'll be able to buy an emote for Embalmer and an Acrobat emote that seem to be ghost themed, and on October 26th I think a lot of people are excited about this there are going to be three new halloween themed accessories added to the store and those are for prisoner priestess and doctor the prisoner one is called gloomy ghost and these all look like pets i'm really interested in why they made them look like doll pets instead of making them into pets they decided to make them into accessories priestess's one is called candy ghost and doctor's one is called pumpkin ghost in the spyglass store come halloween i think on the 19th or maybe on the 26th they're going to be adding some new stuff to that spyglass store that are three new dishes. They're B tier and they're for Mechanic, Hermit and Imbalna. I'll be showing them on the screen right now. As for some extra news, some rumors and some things that have been confirmed, but we haven't got to see any spe specific content yet. It's just rumors and information that we've been told. Doctor is getting a high tier accessory at the end of the season. We don't know if it's going to be S tier or if it's going to be A tier, but she's getting something. Season 29 is coming on the 2nd of November, so it's just under a month away. And there are upcoming high tier skins for Toy Merchant and Nyat probably coming quite soon. We expect these skins are going to probably be for the Nymph Awards. These are the winners of last year's voting. Halloween is the season of horror so that means if you want to see some horrible content then you should check out my video where I asked an AI to create some IDV characters. 